أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the last session we looked into how to take out or how to present descriptive statistics or frequencies so we asked our respondents to present their age and but we did not ask them or we did not ask them to present their age in a certain number of categories rather we left it on them to write their age but now we need to group this age into different classes now why do we need to group this age into different classes or for that matter any other variable why should we or why should that particular variable be presented in different classes or categorized now for that have a look here let's go to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies let's select age and press okay now if you look here this table is for age whereas each age and its frequency is presented now this table here is more or less meaningless does not convey anything it's too big and most probably if you present it like this your supervisor will say that okay just put it in appendix instead it will be more meaningful if we can group our age for example 20 to 30 there were 50 respondents 31 to 40 there were 60 respondents so on and so forth now here we know the minimum age is 20 the maximum age is 59 so we can easily create our classes so let's say our classes are like this 22 30 or 22 29 32 39 40 49 and finally over 49 so how do we create these classes and group our respondents or put our respondents in these classes in order to do this what we need to do is we need to go to transform recode into different variable do not change your original data keep your original data the way it is so recode into different variables and we are transforming age so select age put it in here now you are creating a new variable so we need to name it as well let's name it group underscore age click change and now we need to define our classes in spss so click old and new values next step since this is a range not one single value transformed this is a A range so how do you define range what you need to do is you need to click here range so if the age is between 20 to 29 we will represent it as 1 if the age is between 30 to 39 we will represent it as 2 if the age is between 40 to 49 we will represent it as 3 if it's over 49 if it's over 49 we will call it 4 so but look here range value through highest so you if you write 49 here then you are creating a confusion because 49 is already mentioned here 40 through 49 so what you need to mention here is 50 50 or over will be represented as 4 add press continue press okay now go to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies so if you go right at the end you will see this group underscore age this is the variable that we created now put it in here remove the earlier variable and press okay now look here is this table more meaningful or is this table more meaningful obviously the one underneath it's short it's concise but again what is meant by one what is 2 what is 3 what is 4 a normal reader wouldn't know so you need to define this 1 2 3 and 4 how do you do this go to variable view and where is your variable look here here is your variable so you need to go to values and 1 is 22 29 2 is 32 39 3 is 
49 and 4 is greater than or equal to 50 greater or equal to 50 press ok now go to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies and press ok now look at this much more meaningful than this so this is how you can create or categorize your variables now there is another way or another time when we need to use this particular recording for example if you've got a reverse indicator let's assume this here is a reverse coded item a reversed item or indicator or statement is one that has opposite direction in comparison to all the other indicators in a construct for example let's say we are measuring organizational commitment now organizational commitment is measured using let's say three indicators or three statements the first is I love my job the second is I believe in my organization but the third statement is I am looking desperately for a new job the third statement that I am desperately looking for a job is in complete contrast to the other two statements now this third statement that you are looking desperately for another job is a reverse item reverse statement that should be reversed so that the direction of all three statements is the same so how do you change the direction you need you need to recode it how do you recode the third statement let's say this is the third statement let's assume this is the third statement so how do you do this you need to go to transform recode into different variable let's remove the earlier coding let's this is the third one that we need to reverse code add it and let's say we write ol3 underscore reverse or r change go to old and new values now we do not need this because obviously the range is incorrect and everything else is incorrect as well so we need to remove it once removed click here old value so now in reverse coding what you do is one will change into five 2 will be changed into 4, 3 will remain 3 because that's neutral, 4 will change into 2 and 5 will change into 1. Press continue and press ok. Now you have changed it. So this is how you reverse code your items.